One of your classmates posted this question a few hours ago about an integral or how to integrate using the HP50G. He wrote, I cannot find any tutorial about how to use the HP50G to enter and solve an integral like the one in Q6 assignment 1. The one below, i of t, a current, is a function of time and is equal to 6 times the sine of 300 t. Integrate that from 0 to 2 seconds. Any helps appreciated? Here's the help. I'm assuming that 2t, you mean 2 seconds by that, right? Not 2t. The first thing I'm going to do is enter into the equation writer like so. And once I'm there, I click redshift, the integral sign you see up here, and I see the bounds between 0, 2, 2 seconds. That is oh, what uh, we want to do. So advance with the arrow and write 6 times the sine of what? The sine of 300 t. Because x is the letter the easiest to type in the calculator. I'm going to use x instead of t. 300 that multiplies x. And uh, the integral is with respect to x, that is with respect to t. I enter. Before I evaluate that integral, please observe one thing. 300 are 300 radians per second. We learned that in math courses. So 300 radians per second times x in seconds gives us radians. So the sine has to be evaluated on radians and the calculator has to be set in radians. You see up here, right now it is at 4 degrees. So the first thing I'm going to do is set it up for radians like so now it's in radians and now we're ready just click on the evaluate key here bam and that is the value of that integral between zero and two seconds you say yeah that is fine that is good for math but in engineering we would rather have a floating point number well for that we have this function here at the bottom convert that expression into a numeric value redshift numeric value. Of course, there is a way of setting up the calculator to give you the numeric value directly, but I don't like it. This is the value of the integral, 0 0.04. And that is all. Thank you very much.